everybody, and welcome to another exciting video. I'm Mr. G with the Music Conservatory, and in this video, we're going to go over all the open and natural notes in the first position of your guitar. Stay tuned. Hey everybody and welcome back to the Music Conservatory. I'm Mr. G and today we're going to take a look at page 18 of the Music Conservatory's Guitar Method book. And what we're looking at right here on the screen is a diagram of the uh, open strings of the guitar. You can tell that they're open because of these clear circles. These darkened circles are where your fingers go on the fret. And so if you're watching this video, one, I assume that you have the book. If you don't, we'll put the link in the description below. And also that you've done a little bit of guitar playing already. You shouldn't be totally new to guitar playing if you're trying to uh, learn from this video. But when you start piano lessons, you learn the names of your notes and you start with the white keys because the black ones are sharps and flats and it can get very confusing. And so no matter what instrument you play, you should really know the natural notes of your instrument. Now on the guitar, it's a little different. It's a non-linear instrument, meaning that it doesn't, it's not laid out for you to just see how everything uh, lays and, and how and where your notes are. With a guitar, you really do have to memorize uh, your note names and the fret numbers. Though there are some tricks to knowing where your frets are at and what number you are at on the, on the neck. Uh, there are different dots and inlays that they put on the guitar to show you where you're at. However, when you're first starting to play guitar, you really are playing in open position, okay? And in open position, it's really nice that every open string is a natural note. And if you have, are not new to these kinds of diagrams, you'll know that this diagram works just like like this. Here's the guitar. You will see uh, you have six strings and this nut right here. If you, you see a clear circle up here, that means that that string is being played open. Okay. The first line will be the first fret of your guitar right there. The second fret and the third fret. Just like that. So if we take a look at this diagram, we have starting from the lowest string E, you have open, first and then third. So with your guitar, you would play open, first, and then third. Open, first, third would be E, F, and G. If you look down at the bottom of the paper, you will see the actual note on the staff. Going on to the next string, your A string, you will play the open, second, and third fret, which is now a, B, and C. A, B, and C. On your third string, your D string, you're gonna play open, second, third fret again. So we have open, second, third. We have D, E, F. Now, moving on to our G string. We have only two notes here on our G string in open position that we really want to memorize. And that would be open G and your second fret of A. G and A. On your B string, it's open, first, and third. Open, first, third. And on your high E string, it's gonna be open, first, and third again. E, F, and G. So starting from the bottom of our guitar, at the bottom, meaning the lowest pitch, it would be E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, 
G. And those are your natural notes at the bottom of the guitar. So hopefully by this point you're strumming on some chords and that is a lot of fun. But if you're ever gonna play melodies, you're gonna need to know your natural notes. Especially if you're gonna learn how to read music for your guitar. It's really interesting, a lot of videos I see online and commercials are, are convincing guitar players that you don't actually need to know how to read music and that there's some kind of magic formula out there or magic pattern that makes it all, you know, make sense. And it's really misleading. And the reason it's misleading is because music is a language. And to tell people that you don't need to know music notation and understand how that works is simply telling them that they can be illiterate and that is very limiting in its circumstances. So I encourage you to try to learn this pattern right here on the open position of the guitar. It will take you so far in your playing just knowing where your natural notes are at at the open position. And if you want some help with it, I encourage you to go on to Book Baby and purchase the book that I wrote, The Music Conservatory's Guitar Method, Book One. Many teachers enjoy working out of this book, and hundreds and hundreds of students over the last 10 years have learned how to play guitar from this book. Not only does it cover common chord progressions, it covers the basics of sight reading in the open position of the guitar. It's not a book that's trying to make you learn Mozart and Bach right away. It's the kind of book that's just teaching you the fundamentals of the music language. That way you feel like you, you understand it. When I tell students, and when I talk about students about sight reading for the guitar, I don't ever try to convince them that they should become a really proficient sight reader. What I try to convince them of is that to at least understand the music language, understand the staff, the names of the notes, and where those notes are at. And just by doing that, you'll be able to at least read something and practice it until you have it memorized. Because essentially, if you're playing, whether it's on a campfire or on the couch or on stage, you're gonna memorize things and then you're gonna play them. So don't ever feel like you have to get so good at reading music that you can read it right on the spot. Sometimes that can take many years to develop that skill. But what doesn't take a long time is understanding the basics, understanding your basic notes and your note formats. So please, if you like this video, click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll leave the description to the link for my guitar book in the description. And check back on this channel for more videos about how to play the guitar.